Hi everyone, Gemma here. Thank you for watching today. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this 3D treat gift box. So it's quite large. You know me, I like to make things large and I generally can't fit them on camera. So if I take this apart slightly and show you the lid, first of all, and then the base, it's a really roomy size gift box. It doesn't have to be for Halloween or autumn. You could use it for any occasion. Um, and I finished it, finished it off with this decorative um, handle here, just so you can lift the lid off quite easily. So sorry for lots of movement. I'm just trying to show it in its true glory on camera. Um, so let me show you how I made it. I'm going to split the video into three sections. The first section we will concentrate on the base of the treat box. The second section will concentrate on the top and the, or the lid. And then the third section will bring them both together in the final decoration. So to make the base, you need two pieces of 10 and a half by six and a half. Along the 10 and a half inch side, you're going to score at two and a half, five, seven and a half and 10. Rotate your cardstock and along the six and a half inch side, you're going to score at six inches. So both pieces are exactly the same. Next, we're going to fold and burnish along the score lines and then do some trimming. So do that for both pieces. Next, we're going to trim our panels and they will be cut in the same way. So we've got a half inch tab here on the right hand side and we've got these four rectangles at the bottom and a square. So working left to right, we're gonna come across to the first score line and cut up to the first score line and essentially do that for all of those score lines along the bottom. Then we're going to remove this square on the edge like so. And then lastly, we're just gonna take some wedges out of all of our tabs. So let's do it with the largest tab here on the right hand side, first of all. And then for the four rectangles at the bottom. So you should end up with a piece that looks like this. So if you go ahead now and trim the second panel in the exact same way. So I have my two panels now prepared. I am going to attach my pattern paper while I have a flat surface. So I'll just give you the measurement for that. So it's two and a quarter by five and three quarters. So you want eight pieces of that. So I'm going to attach those to my panels and then I'll come back to you for the assembly. So there's all my pattern paper now attached to my panels. I just wanted to bring in the pattern paper that I'm using, which is from Simply Made Crafts and it's called Autumn Fun Paper Pack. So this is uh, 12 by 12, 24 single sided sheets, 250 GSM. If it's still available, I will link it in the description box below. For the main panels, I'm using the little cardstock. This is a heavier weight cardstock, about 280 GSM. So it's great for your 3D projects. Now I'm going to attach the panels together. So I'm going to run quick grab glue along this half inch tab here. and attach these two pieces together. So you want to line up the bottom score line. I like to flip it over and just press that down with my bone folder so it's got a good attachment. And then I'm going to fold two of the panels back, leaving this half inch tab here. And 
and again add the quick grab glue and fold the two other panels from the opposite side over so they should marry up so now we can see our gift box starting to form so i'm just going to pop that back down on a flat surface a moment just to show you the nesting dies that i'm using they're from creative craft products and they're the octagon nesting dies so i'll just try and find the one that i used um bear with me a moment so the measurement for this die using the flat edges from one side to the other measures just over five and three quarter inches so i'm going to use this to form the shape of the treat box and then i've got a larger die here that i've added some pattern paper to and this will form our base and this one measures seven and one eighth so i wanted it slightly larger than the base piece there so we've got this nice um, trim around the edge of the pattern paper so apologies for the close camera action again <laughs> i'm going to bend all of my tabs back and i'm going to add some quick grab glue along all the tabs so you want to do this relatively quick so that the glue doesn't set like so and then we're going to bend those back inside and now stand it up and place oh sorry <laughs> knocking the camera there and place your piece inside there so if you just let it fall naturally and then press down with your bone folder so you've got some attachment there so this will be slightly smaller than the inside of the gift box so I've gone ahead and I've placed the base of the treat box inside. So if you look inside, the um, octagon is slightly smaller than the treat box. I did that to help it form its shape. I'm going to add the next nesting die in the set. So the next one up, so it's larger than this one and attach that in the bottom to give it some strength. Now the next die up is too large to fit inside this box. So all I'm going to do is bring in my trimmer and just take a little bit off each edge. So I've taken one eighth of an inch off four sides. I'm just going to check to see if that fits. It doesn't, so it's still too large. So I'm going to go around and take another one eighth of an inch off the remaining four sides. Again, do a check to see if that fits and that's nice and snug in there now so I'm going to attach that using some kalal glue and that will help strengthen the base so I've got my larger octagon shape here and I'm going to attach the treat box to it so you could line the edges up like so so you've got this sort of half inch border around the outside or you can slightly offset it and then you've got um, a different sort of edge there. So I think I'm going to offset mine because I quite like the look of that, but it's entirely up to you. So all I'm going to do is add cloud glue on the bottom. Just find the center point and attach that. So there's the base now complete and I'm going to set this to one side and let that dry. Next we'll move on to the lid. So I have two pieces that measure 10 and 7 eighths by 2 and 3 quarters. Along the 10 and 7 eighths side you want to score at 2 and 5 eighths, 5 and a quarter, 7 and 3 quarters and 10 and 3 eighths. Rotate your cardstock and score at 
two and a quarter. So you want two pieces of that. Fold and burnish along the score lines. Now we're going to trim both of our pieces, same way as we did with the base. We've just got a slightly shorter panel. So we've got our four um, half inch tabs here along the bottom and our half inch tab here on the right hand side. So again, we're going to free up the four tabs. So you just want to cut up to the first score line. like so and then rotate and remove that outer square and then we're going to cut wedges into our tabs so you end up with a piece like this so go ahead now and trim the uh, second panel in the same way so as i did with my base i'm going to attach all the pattern paper while i have a flat surface just give you the measurement of that. So it's two and a quarter by two. So you want eight pieces of that. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and attach those together. Now all my pattern pieces are attached. I'm just going to construct the same way as I did with the base. Just attach both pieces together using the half inch tab there. Flip the panel over, fold two of them back and add some more quick grab glue and to fold the two panels on the opposite side. So with the lid I'm going to construct in the same way. We've got the tabs here at the bottom. It'll be easier for me to reach inside now on this piece because it's shorter. So I'm just going to add quick grab glue along the tabs here and the octagon piece that I have this time will fit the lid better because of that um, one eighth of an inch extra that we have to ensure that it fits over the base of the treat box. So I've only cut one um, octagon for this piece and this one measures six and one eighth. So I'm just going to pop this inside like so. And just shape it around that die cut octagon there. And again, go in with a bone folder and just press those tabs down. So it's got something to grab onto. It's a moment of truth to see if the lid fits. <laughs> Sorry, I have to turn it to the side so you can see it. So yeah, we've got a lovely gap there just to fit over the top. So I've got a piece here that measures the same size as the base. And I'm going to stick this over the top like we did in the same way as the base piece. And again, I'm going to slightly offset it. So I'm going to add Kalal glue all along the bottom here now to help strengthen that. So I want the pattern to show on the top. So I'm just going to turn it over and stick it down this way just so I can have a look at how much of a border I've got each side. When I'm happy with that, I'm just going to press it down again with my bone folder. So then we've got a piece that looks like this. Next, I'm going to bring in this drawer handle. Like so. So I picked up a pack of four from Amazon. And I'm going to attach this to the lid. To help strengthen that, I've got um, four circles here that are just over, well, one one and one eighth um, 
so I've cut four of those attached them together with some cloud glue so that's really strong now I want something to hold this because it's got quite a weight to it so I'm going to attach the circle with some Kalal glue and now I'm going to bring in my hot glue gun I'm going to add a generous amount there and just pop that in the centre of that circle so there's the final project just try and move it <laughs> around in different directions so you can see it fully on camera and the lid just pops off like so so there's plenty of room inside this box so you could use this uh, for your trick-or-treaters you could add all your um, sweets or gifts or whatever you like to give out um, to your neighbors and You've got plenty of room there for an additional gift so you could change the decoration slightly you don't necessarily need the handle um, or you could put sort of um, like a bag style handle over the top so that the lid can be lifted off um, change your pattern papers have it more Halloween themed rather than autumn um, you know this could be used as a birthday gift also so it doesn't have to be for autumn or halloween um but i really wanted to use these papers i think they're really beautiful with the um, florals and the pumpkins and it's such a lovely uh, pack of pattern paper and i thought it'd be ideal for this gift box so i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have you might want to hit the like button leave a comment or consider subscribing to the channel if you do subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future tutorials i'll try my best to link all the products in the description box below once again thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye